What's up everybody and welcome to my channel, The Makeup Mom. Today I'm going to be using this makeup brush cleaner. There is like a damage box. This is what we're going to be doing. Um, so I actually ordered this before the quarantine started. I have been waiting to clean my makeup brushes. I'm pretty like sad about how far I've gone or how long I've gone without cleaning them, keeping them in this little bag um, from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. We're gonna get all of these makeup brushes kind of in order. All right, so we are going to get this thing unpackaged. So it does come with this like cute little stand, which I don't know that I would leave this out. Like I don't think it's that cute. All right, so this is the handle and we will put the little spindle thing on to attach this little piece. Like our BH Cosmetic brushes, I don't think it's so dirty. BH Cosmetic. These ones are from the Color Festival palette. Um, I love BH Cosmetics brushes. We're gonna put this in. So we're going to hold it for 10 seconds in there and then we're going to pick it up after the 10 seconds and dry for 10 seconds. So 20 seconds you're supposed to have one brush completely clean and dry. So we're going to see if it is true. Oh my gosh. Well the inside's really clean. So cool. Looks like a little soft. I'm kind of nervous like what it's gonna do to my brushes being out like that so far okay now personally I don't think this is that clean I literally scrub my brushes until they're super clean um, the water looks kind of dirty it's not as dirty as it would be if I would be doing it in the sink okay this feels pretty clean I'm impatient. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, that is pretty dry. All right, I'm not mad at it. Let's see this little brush. I don't know how this is gonna clean. kind of dirty I think we may need to get makeup brush cleaner solution versus soap and water although it does say for water soluble makeup um, like powders um, blush things like that that it is good and the blush brush did work really well um, although it took a couple times. I'm going to try this. This is a BH Cosmetic number three. This could be used as a contour. I really use this for blush as well. Um, I have too many of the same brushes. So maybe this one. I think the brushes with the longer thistles that are actually able to spread apart are doing a better job. This is dry, which typically if you do obviously use your makeup brushes and you wash them it will usually take about 24 hours for the makeup brushes to dry so the fact that this is dry just from spinning is nice plus it does give it a nice fluff can't get it i broke it i just got it and i broke it oh god what am i gonna do this is not good you know I don't think I like this product. Kind of SOL right now. Oh, finally, that's ridiculous. I really want to see how these big, big brushes do. Again, this is the BH Color Festival palette, or color. Well, there was a palette too, um, but this is their the brush collection. So this one I used for bronzer. Now it's starting to look gross. 
Oh my god, okay. This is still really wet. Still super wet. So, definitely this will need to... It's like a wet dog. Like when your dog gets out of the tub and he like shakes and it's all gross. I don't know if I like this. It's cool and all. It's a nice cool gadget to try, I guess. If you're into beauty, it's fun. Like this, it is kind of fun to see how this stuff works. Um, if you aren't really that much into makeup and you don't care to try all the new gadgets that come out, it might not be for you. That looks better. Okay, so that was two tries. This is a Paris Hilton brush. Um, this was one of her holiday collections. I don't really particularly care for Paris Hilton's makeup, but her brushes are super, super soft. Um, you can find them at um, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, um, and I believe she has a website. Um, I think her skincare line does better than her makeup does, but um, the brushes are nice. This is another contour brush. Um, I typically will pinch it and use it for highlight, like right here. Oh yes. Okay. This, this clean perfect. So I think for this size or smaller, this might just be the thing. I love that. Dirty purple shadow, purple pink. So we're going to see how well it cleans on the small brushes. I am very excited. Okay. So I can tell right off the bat, the pink did not come out. Um, it did clean some of it. It's not that good. So what I'm going to do, I think this is what I had the old water in. What I would do if I was using this at the sink, I would, personally, I would put like Dawn dish soap on this. You don't need to go out and spend a ton of money on um, brush cleaner. The other thing is I feel like there's soap stuck in this and I don't like that. I'm gonna have to rinse these to see if it dries. Um, it looks a little better. Okay, this to me, looks cleaner by pushing it on the bottom and agitating it. They do have little brush um, pads. They are, um, they're rigid, so they have little bumps on them made of silicone. They're perfect for squishing your brush around like that, getting all of this in the middle. Um, again, this seems really cool, but I'm kind of thinking like it's not worth it. Especially because there's so much work involved. So this top, is gonna be this is called a collar and they're calling this the spindle um, so this one is gonna be perfect for these pointy brushes that was one of the concerns so at least that is the plus they thought of that this um, this is a JS1 Morphe and Jeffree Star collab brush I love these brushes this brush though um, has a lot of um, blush in it so we shall see how it cleans. I can already tell the water is getting like pretty gross. That's disgusting. I love Jeffree Star brushes. The fact that they're pink, um, most of them, not all of them are, but I'll show you his other collab too. Okay, this is not clean at all. So see that line of demarcation? I'm going to just do this to dry it. <sighs> okay, yeah, wet dog. I don't like it. I'm over it. So it's really a toss-up, I guess, if you need... Like, this is nice to dry them. Unless I needed to clean them and have them dried for me to use right away, um, I would just do them normally. So far, these are the clean ones. They do look pretty decent. They're not terrible. It's just, again, so much walk. Okay, now, this is um, a JS2 Jeffree Star and Morphe collab. Um, I want to say this is what they use as a blush, and the other one was probably foundation. The other thing with makeup um, is the biggest thing to remember it's having artistic freedom. So just because the brush says contour brush or foundation brush or, you know, highlight brush doesn't mean you have to use it for that specific task. You can use it for whatever your little heart desires, which is the best thing about art in general. 
I always tell my daughter, um, you know, when she gets upset, if she's drawing a picture and she colors outside the lines or anything like that, if she messes up her little drawing, I always tell her that art doesn't, um, doesn't get ruined. It might be different than what you anticipated, but you can change it into anything that you want, which is the beautiful thing about art. Maybe I just really need to count and stop being so lazy. Pretty clean. Okay, this one is so gross. It's very, very disgusting. The This is a foundation brush. Um, Usually they're very, very soft because this one is so dirty. It's even separated and like hard. So gross. I... I really usually use a sponge, but again, these have not been clean in over a month waiting for this for you guys. I wanted them to be as dirty as possible, which might be part of my problem. So maybe their rationale is these work really well when it's just your normal once or twice a week clean. So I'm going to try this. I don't think this brush is going to go well. Um, let's give it a go. All right, I'm going to hold this up for you guys. A lot of it is just bubbles too, so I think that's my problem. <laughs> Apparently, I have a lot of problems. <laughs> Actually, it it did clean pretty good so far. Okay, let's see. I'm holding it kind of off to the side just because of the type of brush that it is. Um, again, it's not a brush like this. It's you saw it's on an angle, so it's not all getting in there when I just put it straight down. Um, oh wait, I forgot to leave it out for ten seconds. Uh -uh. Okay, this brush is so disgusting. So the sides, you can tell this is the actually, uh, this is the normal color of the bottom of the brush. It's like a white and then it fades into this pretty chocolate brown. Um, this though, you can see on the sides, there's quite a bit of buildup in the middle. These should all be, that is so I have brushes that are very cakey like that. Um, just letting them soak in, um, lukewarm water with soap overnight is pretty much the way to go. Then you can rinse them the next morning, um, with warm water. And then again, use your hands to kind of like get all of the caked up makeup out. Okay. Now you can see the color of the brush and the inside is better than it was. It still needs to soak. So this one is not clean. I didn't really anticipate this one to work that well anyway. So there's that. Okay, I think it just died. I just put batteries in this earlier. That's so bizarre. Okay, so like you can see it does have this nice little blue light. Um, when I was just putting these in, it did, it's just stopping <laughs> randomly. So I have to push it again. Maybe it's a timer. Um, I didn't notice that with any of the other brushes, so... If it's already going bad, it's not a good thing. Okay. Yeah. I'm not really feeling it. All right, guys. So overall, I would say that this tool for cleaning your makeup brushes is a no-go. Um, I did only spend about $40 on it, which is not that much. Um, I may do another video on a different type of makeup brush cleaner if I can find one that has some decent reviews so I'm not wasting money. However, um, it was a cool concept. I like the fact that this lights up blue. That's just aesthetic because it's not clean them that well. It um, there are my two cents on it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video.